Police say they use what's called a less than lethal approach to take a man into custody, and tonight that man is dead. It happened early this morning at an Orange County McDonald's. Eyewitness News reporter Rob McMillan explains what police say happened from the moment they arrived until the man died. The front entryway of this McDonald's in Fullerton, now a large crime scene. The restaurant closed to the public while Fullerton police investigate an incident that left one man dead. Fullerton PD getting the call about a disturbance at the restaurant around 3 in the morning. There were two uh, males possibly under the influence of drugs. This is cell phone video of the incident. The reporting party was the manager of the business and she was concerned for the safety of her employees that were going to be arriving at work. So police roll up to the scene, the McDonald's located at Brookhurst in Orangethorpe. Upon officers arrival, they contacted one of the male subjects uh, who had no shirt on and was swinging a belt around and acting erratically. They say that man didn't follow their commands. So one of the officers then tried to tase him. When that didn't work, they say they fired beanbag rounds at him. Oh, did they? A less lethal kinetic energy projectile, um, also commonly referred to as a less lethal beanbag shotgun with less lethal beanbag rounds. Uh, that was deployed, it was uh, successful, and we took the subject into custody. But less lethal doesn't always mean never lethal. Paramedics responded and transported the subject to a local trauma center where he was pronounced deceased. But the exact cause of death is not clear. Was it the beanbag round? or perhaps something to do with the substance he might have been on. The coroner will have to figure all of that out. Meantime, they're still looking for the other man who appeared to be under the influence. We are still looking for him. We are trying to identify and um, speak with him in regards to the incident. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Get more great ABC7 content by clicking the subscribe button for our YouTube channel and download the ABC7 Los Angeles streaming app on Fire TV, Android TV, Apple TV, and Roku to watch on your TV.